Welcome to Michigan by the Bottle. I'm Shannon Casey. And I'm Courtney Casey. We have a new uh, studio today. Yeah, we wanted to take it outside since it's such a nice day, but um, we're risking our neighbors thinking that we're insane. Um, <laughs> but you know what? I just felt like people were probably sick of seeing our dining room, and it's so nice. You know, I, I yeah. couldn't justify having it inside. And we picked the perfect wine for the patio. It's the Chateau Chantel 2010 Chardonnay. It's a proprietor's reserve. We've talked about that before. Um, this is a state bottle. So typically they reserve the, the best grapes and do the most with them uh, in the cellar for their proprietor's reserve. Alrighty. And I'm assuming everybody already knows that Chateau Chantel is on Old Mission Peninsula, but just in case. Just Old in Mission case. Old Mission Peninsula, beautiful views. Etc. Etc. Yeah. So what are you getting on the nose? A lot of vanilla on the nose. There's some legs on this. So yeah. So you you know there's gonna be uh, you know there's gonna be some oak involved. Yeah. My first impression was oak, and I consulted the trusty wine wheel, and it really did not help me because it went from woody to resinous to oak. Yeah. So ultimately, the ultimate descriptor of oak is oak. <laughs> so <laughs> what are you getting on the taste? Toasted marshmallow. Okay. A lot of vanilla. I would even say like a like a creme brulee that's freshly uh, you know toasted with one of those fancy torches. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm buying into your description, but it sounds yeah. pretty. It, it sounds delicious. <laughs> it sounds delicious. Um, no, that's a great wine. This, this seems like you really enjoy this one, and I'm kind of surprised because I know, as we mentioned in the past, I'm more of an oak chardonnay yep. lover, and you're more of an on oak. So yep. we're interested to hear your point of view of you know, do you like it? naked Chardonnay or do you like it oaked? Yeah. So which do you prefer? It seems like people are kind of firmly in one camp or the other. Um, and, and I, frankly I used to be in, in the naked uh, camp a lot and I don't know if it's just been uh, the proper oak treatments or oak that's actually kind of Maybe you were drinking a lot with of me. badly oaked Chardonnay, over may, oaked may, Chardonnay? Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean I, I think California has a reputation for really over oaking Chardonnay and this is uh, this is not that well, case. Screw There's, California. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of oak on it, so those that like their Chardonnay oak, I think this will be right up your alley. So maybe you're coming over to our camp now. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Speaking of oak. Speaking of oak. Well, that was a good segue. That was even right? better than the one I had planned. Um, I was going to say, speaking of Chateau Chantel, um, we were at uh, Toasted Oak last night in Novi. It was our first time. We had heard so much about this place. We had met this chef, Steve, um, at... Schoolcraft Culinary Extravaganza last year in Crush Birmingham. Yep. He had some fantastic foods like fresh honey, all these fresh vegetables, and we were just really impressed by what he was doing over at Toasted Oak and Novi. Yeah, big so we, farm to table type Yeah, place. just come, it's awesome. So we checked it out last night. It was really neat. There's a market attached to the actual restaurant, and they have just a huge selection of Michigan wines by the bottle. Um, and actually, we met Jason there. Um, he was uh, helping us out with our dinner and helping us figure out some wine and that yeah. sort of thing. And, and he actually said that when we walked in, a Speaking of Michigan by the bottle, and pointed to the collection, so they have a pretty big selection of Michigan wines. And, and, and their their wine markup is is incredible. Um, you know, they, they sell their wine out of their market for retail. And then and, it's a seven dollar corkage fee if yeah. you want to drink it there. And they also have all kinds of local cheeses and um, like house made charcuterie and everything. So it's just a really cool place if you like if you're really into the local food and wine angle. That's a good way to hit it up all at once. Um, but you know, it's it's kind of an upscale ish dining place. But you can still walk in in a casual clothes, but then there's also like the more casual area that's where the market is and a bar and everything. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. And then one last shout out here. I know we're going long, but um, our, our favorite former bartender at Left Foot Charlie, Will Havel, we just found out that he got engaged to his girlfriend, Abby, Joy Bennett. Congratulations, so I just to Will. Say congratulations to Will. We raise our glasses yeah. to you and Abby tonight. So He'll soon become a Bennett. No, uh, I think it goes the other way. Either well, I way. Guess, I guess these days it can be <laughs> could be hyphenated, probably not. Make sure, if you know Will, that you pass along congratulations. Make sure that you check out Chateau Chantel, and especially their 2010 Proprietor's Reserve Chardonnay. And make sure you keep checking out michiganbythebottle.com, where we're supporting the state with every sip. And make sure you keep checking out michiganbythebottle.com where we're supporting the state with every sip. That's good. Did you know that Will was actually one of the nominees for like 
person you see everywhere or something. I think it was for a Red Hat Vest. It was for one of those Up North contests, and he was actually like local celebrity. I would not be surprised. <laughs> Everybody knows Will. I think it fell a little. So your head might have gotten a little cut off. Well, I got a big head. It'll be fine.